Troubles, welcome to day 23, the penultimate day of the Brew Crew Podcast Advent Calendar 2022 Spectacular. I'm your host, Randy Macho Man Savage. Ooh, yeah. Dig it. Today, we will be drinking Bissell Brothers, nothing gold, now with sound, because my last episode didn't have sound. This is a New England IPA with uh, 8.2%, and as we know from the Pilsner that we had on the 10th, Nothing Brothers is out of um, Portland, Maine. So let's go with the crack. Yes, I did reseal this. There we go. Awesome. It was brought to my attention that my last night episode was made without sound. So here we go. I will try to do... 75% as good as I did yesterday. The thing I really liked about this beer, and it's ironic right now as I record this, because the weather conditions, it says on my weather bug right now, is haze. And this beer is all about the haze. And what I said about it before was, I'm over hazy. But this beer does really well with it. And what I mean by that is, it's a typical New England in that it's not as as citrusy or as hop forward it's got a lot more dankness than um i was expecting and i know we were talking a couple days ago when we were talking scars are beautiful and this one it would have been great to have them side by side to see which one is better this one i think is better than scars are beautiful from street side um the reason being is it doesn't do anything exceptionally well but be a really solid beer and as i ruminate on this on my palate a little bit the thing that i like about this one is i could have more than one but probably two is the limit then i would have to then i would have to change to something else i'm sorry dogs behind me then i would have to change to something else that was a little bit um um less dank and um you know woody was a word that was used but um just had a little bit more to offer and that's the thing like you know for bissell brothers so we had two bissell brothers the pilsner only a couple of ingredients you can't you can't really hide anything so if there's any imperfections or anything that the brewmaster did not intend that's going to come out in new england they're a lot more forgiving because there's a lot more combination of things so you can have something that's wildly off. Let's say you have like cardamom or something in there. You, you can have a lot of that that can get made up or masked by um, the the hops or the other ingredients. Let's go to what Kaysen drank this because I actually drank this before Kaysen. Kaysen, so Jason goes fruity start and woody finish. Boy, 3.5. I would order it, but I won't remember it. That's it. That's pretty accurate. Kate, I feel like this is a dusty goldenrod field. I get a lot of florals with this hazy citrus tones. My mom said she would wear it with how pretty it smells. I would give this a 3.5, and she just coined a new term I like. It's a DNB, drinkable but not memorable. So off the top rope, again, I gave this a 4. I'm kind of at the point right now with this where like I, I take what's been offered and i'm like man is this better than other other things that we've had yes is it memorable uh not so much but in 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 the moment and multiple moments it's drinkable for what it is it's not i don't think it's pontoon crushable i can't wait to see what uh, ryan and michelle bring us but the interesting thing about it is um for new england's going down the ladder like again i i, I try to avoid them now when able um This is one that I'm glad that was presented to me. So outside of that, I hope everyone is doing well and staying warm. I think I said yesterday too, um, where everyone is that has a calendar, it's negative temperatures right now. So uh, it's it's quite the chill. But uh, warm yourself up with a cold one. Cheers.